Are you ready for a restaurant road trip? New Haven County, we have our eyes on you. From crazy breakfast combos in Brantford to creative dishes crafted in a Waterbury Museum and even vegan food in Wallingford. <laughs> Wake me up. City of New Haven, we see you and we don't even mention pizza. Great food, a lot of fun, and well, sometimes too much fun. Hey. <laughs> restaurant road trip season two. New Haven is known for many things, but not bagels. Omo Bagelry is working to change that. This chef-driven bagelry is beloved by the neighborhood, and we're gonna go see why. Chef and co-owner Craig Hutchison is taking the bagels here to an entirely new level. This place is literally one of the busiest places we've ever been to. It's absolutely jamming. So I'm gonna get in here and see if I can get some bagels and bagel. It's a weird word. Bagel. Craig, awesome to meet you, man. Thanks for having us in here. I really do. You guys, Good, thanks I mean, so much for coming. You're jamming in here. It's crazy. Hey, it was. We just cleared out a big old line. It was great. Every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday, we're just flying out the door. I mean, you're like becoming a bagel legend here in New Haven, which uh, is awesome. We'll, we'll start with I am the bagel shop in New Haven at the moment. <laughs> and we'll, we'll build our way up. Talk about the history a little bit, because this building has a little bit of history, and you've taken it over and been here for a little while now. Yeah, 93 Whitney Avenue has been a very historically uh, robust culinary scene here. Yeah. Uh, it's been a sushi restaurant. It's been the New England house. We are now Olmo. We were a sit-down restaurant. 2020, this thing called the pandemic happened. Wait, what's that called? Yeah, it, the pandemic. Pandemic. We took our bakery program, turned it into a bagel shop, and here we are. Wow. And the city has just embraced, right? It's just Who doesn't crazy. want good bagels? Well, good bagels are our way to go, right? Yeah, that's right. New York approved that model many years ago. <laughs> How many bagels a day, like on a Friday, on a Saturday? Yeah, we're up over 10,000 a week right now, so it varies. Uh, Throughout the week, the biggest bake that we've ever done is 3,700 in a day. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, man. Here, your grains, you actually get ground and shipped to you. So you get like your own special like blend, right? Yeah, uh, we do an 82% high extraction grain uh, out of a warthog, which is a, a type of grain. So it allows for the 48 hour process that we do to build up gluten over time. Right. And uh, it's got a ton of flavor to it. Kind of like a sourdough you equate it to. Yeah, it's a little bit like a sourdough in terms of the length of the process, but we do use a commercial yeast just to make sure that every single bake is the same every time. Wow, that sounds awesome. I want to go down there and check out where these bagels are made downstairs. Uh, chef, first of all, this kitchen's crazy. There's all these little nooks and different little areas to work in. It's kind of cool. It's been a challenge uh, as we've been moving towards being a like a fine-tuned bagel shop because yeah. A lot of bagel shops, you start with a big old box right. and you're able to separate like where you sell it and where you make it. Uh, this wasn't meant to be a bagel shop, as I mentioned. <laughs> so uh, we're actually standing in the old bagel shop right now. This was the size of it. Oh, this was it? Yep, we used to serve 60 bagels out of here every morning. Wow. Let's talk about these bagels a little bit because yep. your recipe for doing it, it's pretty well thought out. Yeah, it's taken me three years and it's gonna take me another 100 years, I hope I make it. Constantly uh, changing, right? Yeah, I, yeah, we're never satisfied with our product. So we start off with your flour mixture that you get, right? Mm -hmm. One of the unmistakable ingredients is the wonderful water of New Haven. I mean, I, I, listen, it can't hurt. There's one thing for sure, hard water helps out great bread. We have hard water, it can't hurt us with the New Haven process. Is it why we think that our bagel is so great? Sure, yeah, we're from New Haven. <laughs> it's obviously, we, we got the best pizza, we got the best bagels now. So once that's all mixed up, the water, flour. It's very odd, you kind of take uh, everything you know about bread and you have to throw it out. We reverse the process. In the beginning, you build a ton of flavor in bread by the buildup of yeah. it all. Now we introduce all the ingredients at once and then we let the back end of it build the flavor. They sit for 48 hours until they're ready to bake. There's a lot of science involved in this. I have no idea what I'm talking but about. You certainly actually. sound awesome at it. So after they sit, the fermentation process and then what? We work a little bit off of being annoyed chefs here okay. because like you go out and you eat food and you say, right. <laughs> and you say like, that's not right. When you eat a bagel, it's super frustrating when the seeds fall off. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the, next, is, the next problem yeah. became, let's build up a light, airy, crispy bagel. Obviously check that one off super quick, right? That took two Done, seconds. Right. Then it was, how do you get the seeds to not fall off? So yeah. we actually, we've developed a very weird process where we seed our bagels 24 hours in advance. 
We don't boil our bagels, newsflash, no. everybody. There's a lot of labor involved with bagels. If you don't have one of those big old commercial kitchens that turns everything, which we don't, we were finding inconsistency on our bagels because they weren't being all turned at the time. We have a rationale oven. Rationale ovens, for those who don't know, are uh, they can do 100% steam, 100% yeah, heat, and everywhere in between. We thought to ourselves, what is a pot of boiling water? 212 degrees. degrees. Yeah. Right. So why don't we just set it to 100% steam and rock it at 212 and see what happens? So we can bake 180 bagels and have them steamed and baked the exact same way the whole way wow, through. Wow, that's it. You get this down to a science. This is so cool. It's pretty fun. It's awesome, man. I can't wait to get there and try these bagels and you know, trying to get in your way anymore. Eat. Eat way too many. <laughs> that's, that's, cool. that's awesome, dude. Thanks, man. All right, cheers. Chef, this is a plethora, a veritable cornucopia of delicious breakfast sandwiches. I like going over the top on a lot of things, so. Yeah, I mean, this looks great. Do it right, right? Let's eat a whole bunch of things. Let's try it all. What do you want to start with here? You said that you like sausage. I do, I'm a sausage so, guy. So yeah, so let's eat a sausage, egg, and cheese. All right, let's do it, so we got. All right, I got one on a cacio e pepe. Right. You got one oh, on a poppy. Nice. Oh, old okay. school, dude. Look at Come this. On. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on. So when we were a sit-down restaurant, the cacio e pepe was our number one selling pasta dish. Interesting, okay. Cheers. I mean, cheers, man, absolutely. And so we started uh, thinking about how we can make it into a bagel. Uh, we started working with a local sausage company, and yeah, we got our own sausage made now. What a delicious bagel, though, man. The bagel itself is really chewy and delicious. Not too soggy with the egg yolk. Mm -hmm. And you can see kind of, you talked about how the, the seeds, you see it beforehand, right? They almost kind of sink into it a little bit. There's no seeds anywhere on your uh, paper. They're, you're gonna eat 100% right. of your this. seeds. Look at this. That means healthy. <laughs> you can't take a drug test after eating our poppy seed bagel. You won't pass. What, is that bad? What happened? Uh, I think it pulls up a positive test result on uh, one of the drugs that you don't want to be tested positive for. Is that for. true? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Here, take a bite of the cacio one, I oh. promise. Okay. Cacio pepe, that traditional pasta dish. Cacio pepe. <laughs> Look at the top of that. When we're always reworking it, the Cacho e Pepe is actually one of the ones that's getting retooled pretty soon. Why? That's great. It could be better. That's really delicious. So this is our everything bagel here. Look at all the great stuff on top of that's there. That's the EE. And you can tell because it, you see the gochugaru on the side. Oh yeah, look at and that. And the rosemary. Right there, look at that. Beautiful. This e, e is awesome. Good. This is the one that we brought to New York Brooklyn Bagel Fest. This yeah. is the sesame with spicy scallion right here. I love Korean street food. Yeah. And I wanted to work kimchi into our menu some way. So this is meant to be kimchi in a bite. Oh man. You know what my favorite part of a bagel is? That middle. Right, right through the hole where you get all of the cream cheese. Oh, look at this. Come on. It's the it's the move that makes me feel like a kid. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's great. A little heat in the background. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. That's a great one, man. Thank you. I like that one. So many great sandwiches. I, the bagel, the flavor of these bagels really is the star of every single one of these sandwiches. You have so much great stuff in them. There's not a bagel here that doesn't taste delicious and unique, which is pretty cool about it, man. Yeah. So out of the park, Thank man. you. Thank you, Chef. This is unbelievable, man. Dude, yeah. Out of the park. Appreciate so great. you guys. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to get these boys fed, though. Yeah, I got to go in and make a whole nother order now that we just ate the whole thing. Oh. This was meant for everybody. Order? This was meant for everybody, oh, but geez. we just ate the whole thing. But, you know, whatever. We'll just go make another. Well, I'm a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, guys. I'm a student here at Yale University, um, and what originally got me to come here, I think, was the bacon, egg, and cheese. And that's what keeps me coming, basically. And I brought my friends from California here because I knew they'd enjoy the bagels just as much as I do. So, yeah. <laughs> What are you guys still doing here? What are you, get uh, get out of here. You got free food? Are you kidding me? You fucked up my dining room? Get out! Sorry, chef. Sorry, chef. Soul food is something I grew up on and wanted to share that with my friends Anna and Raven. So I invited them to Sandra's Next Generation in New Haven to share the love. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's, up, what's going on? Good to How see are you? you? Oh, yeah, nice to see you. What's up, brother? What Thank up, you for man? having us. Oh, are you ready to eat? Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks for joining me here on Restaurant Road Trip. Restaurant Road Trip, please meet my friends Anna and Raven, host of the Anna and Raven Show. Every morning, you guys are up so early in the morning, but fantastic show and very family friendly. So I thought it'd be fun to show you kind of my family history a little bit and take you guys out to lunch today. And the closest thing for me is Sandra's Next Generation, because you know, I grew up down south, so a lot of soul food is kind of what I grew up on. And I know you've checked the menu out, Anna. 
Uh-huh. What, are looking, what are you looking forward to? So I've never had fried okra ever. In your I, life? No, and I want to have it today for the first wow, time. I, have, I would never have guessed that, really. Yeah. It's delicious. Uh, Raven, what do you think? Empanadas. I hear they're like famous oh, for them here. I got to yeah, have them. Yeah, yeah, they put so much stuff inside of them. I can't wait either. Listen, there's a whole bunch of seats over here. Let me get inside of this kitchen. Let me see if I can get some food brought out for us and, uh, you know, take you guys on a trip down south, you know? I Let's like do it. it. I'll see you guys yeah. in there, man. Good. Awesome. Thanks, Plum. Sandra, it's so great to finally meet you. I am a massive fan of yours. And Miguel, there's always- Awesome, awesome. Man, there's always a great man that stands behind a, a wonderful That's woman. Right. That yes. Kitchen, you know? So talk about how the city kind of is embraced. You think of soul food right now in New Haven, you think of Sandra's next generation. Sure. Well, you know, when you look at the history of New Haven, New Haven is a melting pot. So, I mean, in terms of what we offer, our cuisine, it just blend in with the neighborhood right. here in the hill. And are you in this kitchen working every day? Just about every day. Just about. I love what I do, so it doesn't bother me. It's like, it's not work for me, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk about some of the items on the menu that people are really, you know, that, that they must have. People are like, listen, I gotta have this on your menu. You gotta have everything on the menu. Everything? Everything on all the menu, yes. We got, we got all of it? All the of menu. them is good. I mean, we really don't have a favorite. You're gonna get a chance to test it out for yourself today oh and see. I'm looking forward yes, to it. Are. I mean, one of the reasons I want to come here, I grew up down south, and so this is the kind of food I grew up on. You know, I had a single mother, and like it was a lot of takeout food, but food like this, which I just grew up on, I loved it. And I said before, I think soul food is just one of those things where you try to define it, and the best way to define it is it's something that's made with love and makes you feel something. Right. And that's soul right. food to me. Right. Right. I mean, right. If I'm wrong, tell me. No, you're, yeah. you're absolutely right. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait to get in this kitchen and make some food. Oh. Everybody's great. The energy is incredible. I just hope I can live up to the standard. That's all I'm hoping for. All right. Definitely. All right. We're you definitely gonna give you experience of a lifetime. I can't wait. All I'm right. excited about it. Let's all get right. this kitchen and see nice. what we can make, all right? Let's go. All right. All right. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Okay, ladies, uh, everything, I, I, I can't express to you how hungry I am. Like, all the smells make me so excited. I can't wait to share this with my friends, Anna and Raven. What are we making to start here? All right, so we have, as you, as you see, we have a variety of selection here. Yeah. Which we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay. We have some pork ribs, we have some turkey chop barbecue, we have some smothered turkey, and some barbecue chicken. Wow. So you pick and choose what you want. Basically what we're doing is we're gonna take an empanada and soul roll. We're gonna make it some soul. Okay, I like that. So, yes. So Let's we, do it. I'm gonna do the turkey chop barbecue. I don't okay. know about you, what do you wanna do today? Uh, I, he said he wanna do pork. I pork for me. To, okay, so you're gonna do the pork rib. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna put me a little cheese here. A little cheese, here you go. just cheese. a little cheddar cheese, right? A little cheddar cheese, there you go. All right. There you go. Here we go. Okay. Kinda got your cheese everywhere. Kinda just tighten it up for you. Tighten it up for you. All right. Thank you. Tight. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna do the turkey barbecue, so I'm gonna grab my turkey barbecue. You doing turkey barbecue? Yes. Hey, wait a minute, is that a squirrel in here? <laughs> squirrel. No, I didn't see it. Squirrel. I didn't see it. Was it a squirrel? Mm. How does that rib taste? What rib? Huh? <laughs> wow. That's Caribbean rice. Okay. This looks delicious already. Yes, there you go. I'm gonna go sweet potato. And you know, you grew up on vegetable. You know, mom said you gotta have a vegetable. Yes, ma'am. So you gotta pick cabbage or you gotta pick collard greens inside you. Has to go inside of it, one of the two, right? Mm -hmm. When I'm choosing, I'm taking collars. You don't want no macaroni and cheese? I want mac and cheese in mine. I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to roll this. No, you're gonna roll it. We're gonna, she's gonna show you how to roll okay, it. Okay, go for it. Mac did and cheese. Did you see how she looked at you when you said she's gonna show you how to roll she it? She did. Did you see that? All right, we got a lot of stuff in here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what's the trick? Gonna bring it over. So we just take it right over, right? Yeah. So mine yeah. is tucked over real good. See? See how a woman just handled that for you? It's <laughs> got that finesse. What? Here we go. Once you're done, looking nice and pretty, flip it around. On the other side. Mm -hmm. You got it. See? We're going to deep fry that. We're going to gonna... deep fry this whole gonna... thing. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. Once it's done, it's going to be nice and crispy. Yeah. Four minutes is perfect okay. amount because we want the heat to go right through. It's funny because a lot of these things we put, I put in mine, mm -hmm. like pork ribs, a little bit of yams. It's literally the things I have for dinner at my house growing up. There you go. I All think right. this is ready. This is definitely this is ready. ready. Ooh, oh, look at that. Amazing. Look at them ribs, that melted cheese. We're gonna make something else, aren't we? We're gonna do a soul roll. A soul roll? Yes, a soul roll. Are we gonna roll these like egg rolls? Yes, we yes. are. I think you should I do an oxtail. oxtail. I think you should do oxtail. Yeah, are yes. you come on now. Why not? Let's go for it. All right, so we're gonna go a little oxtail here. A little sweetness, because you like sweetness, right? I love, come on now. Right, I'm, I'm with you ladies right now. All right, you know right. we like sweetness. <laughs> and put you some vegetables in there. A little mac and cheese, good a idea. A little mac and cheese, do you want a little mac in there? Yeah, why not, let's do it. How about a little bit of chicken? I'm gonna throw some chicken in there, yeah, so I'm yeah, gonna yeah. do. Throw some chicken Take in there. Box. All right. You ready, you ready roll, roll? I'm ready, let's do it. All right. Slide it toward it, right? Soak it in there really good. Yeah. Come on now. Look at that, boom. So now we're gonna drop our soul rolls. Here we go, chef. 
You take one. Thank you. I take one. Let's cut it. Let's go. I'll cut it. Let's go. Hey. Come on now. Look at that. That's beautiful. Masada, this looks amazing. I can't wait to sit down outside. I can't wait for you to sit down and try it. And try it. Yes. I'm, I'm so excited about it. Thanks, you guys, so much. And thank you so much for showing me. I'm just going to drop you all a few. I know. That's nice of her, right? Oh, you see that? That's why she's been with me for so long. You see that? Three and a half years is a long see, time. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> see, he learned quick. See, I, I see that. He learned quick. Very fast. Yes, yes he does. He learned quick. Very fast. Sandra, I'm so excited at all this food and a raven. Look at this. Is this not crazy? It's incredible. I can't wait. My mouth has been watering since the <laughs> second it got put down this table. I mean, the um, smells are absolutely outstanding. What should we start with? Fried chicken is one of the first things I learned oh. how to cook because where I grew up in the neighborhood, everybody came to 99 Edgewood Avenue. Why? Because everybody loved Mama Mary's fried chicken. Can you see why? Can you taste it and see why? Oh. I could not wait to put this in my mouth and it is everything I wanted and more. The seasonings you have in there aren't overpowering, and you really taste, taste like delicious fried chicken. It's like it was bathed in butter. And it's okay to suck on the bones, because you're gonna <laughs> taste the flavor all the way down to the marrow, to the bone, really. Delicious. How about the fried okra? Who know about fried okra? I gotta be honest with you. I've seen it on so many menus, and I never order it, because I don't know enough about it. Well, you're gonna find out now. It's incredible. Really tasty, incredible. right? And I can't believe I waited till now to actually try it. too long. Delicious. The crunch is still there. You see that? No oil on there, No. There's not. Huh? Falling yeah. behind on you guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> soul roll. Yeah, that soul roll is real roll. good. So you taught him the secret on the soul roll. I did. Absolutely. I really did, step by step. Wow. Yeah, so you can't mess up. You can't mess up. <laughs> and be adventurous. If you like something else that you want to add to it, go right ahead. So we're going to try some empanada. I've had my eye on this since we got here. The thing that I see immediately before I even bite into it is, it's just perfectly crisp and dry. There's no pool of oil at the bottom of it. What I love about how we're doing this tasting too, it also is for me growing up down south, there was a place similar to this. My mom would get food. I had a single parent growing up and then in order to get dinner, this is what we would get. Right. She couldn't cook at all. Sorry, mom, I can't. <laughs> like, she was terrible. But it became a communal thing where it was like, people would always be over the house. This is how we would eat. A bunch of stuff on the table, the to-go container is full, and we would all just eat like this. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. Raven, what's been your favorite so far? I, I feel like I'll be doing a disservice to one of the other dishes, no matter what I say about any of them. They were really, they're all amazing and mouth-watering. So, so many good. great flavors, all put together perfectly. I'm so glad you guys got to experience this with me. I am too. Thanks so for having us. Back? Oh, I'm coming back. Right. Yeah. Sandra, thank you so much. This You're is welcome. delicious. Thank you, I'm glad Appreciate you guys it. enjoyed. I'm so glad you guys had to come and join me for lunch today and try a little soul food and see what I grew up on. Uh, how was those, that okra? It was fantastic. I can't believe I waited so long yeah. to try it. And empanadas, a win, right? Oh, man, absolutely incredible, man. Absolutely. Really, never had anything like it. Hey. No, Sabrina, where are you going? Bring them back. Where are you going? Bring them back. Thanks, Thanks for lunch, I guess. Bring them back. Brantford is one of our favorite towns in the state and home to, well, home, a great restaurant where some of the classics become new again and you can really kick back and relax. When we first decided that on this season of Restaurant Road Trip, we were gonna do New Haven County, so many people said, you gotta try home in Brantford. From the homemade mac and cheese, the homemade gnocchi, the homemade borscht and cheese, this place really makes you feel like you're at home. I can't wait to get in here because nothing makes me feel more comfortable than being at home. Let's uh, go home right now in Brantford. Jared, pleasure to meet you, man. Thanks Thank for having us in here. Thanks man. for coming. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. It really is very comfortable in here, right? Thank you. And you got a great crowd right now. It, it, it's nice. Thank you. It's nice. I love the pictures on the wall. Appreciate it. So it's a local artist that did them. They're all oh, wow. photographs. She did them right in her backyard. Well, you're big on supporting everything local here in Brantford, right? Big. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about the restaurant, where the idea come from, how long we've been here, all the info. Um, so the whole general theme behind it is comfort. I've been in the business since I was 14 years old, almost 26 years now. Yeah. Everyone has always said that I was able to make people feel comfortable and almost feel at home. It's just basically built off of comfort, um, home cooked food with a twist on it. Everything's made in house. Um, if it's not made in house, we buy it locally. It's kind of cool to see all this stuff being locally produced here. Absolutely. I mean, our little state's pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. A very family thing you've got going on here too. Absolutely. Your dad's at the bar, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I can't control him, but if he screws up, I just call mom and she takes care of it. <laughs> I, love, I love that. 
Uh, let's just talk about the menu for a second. You said it's very like like a home style, like make you feel like good inside here, nice Absolutely. and warm. I like to call it almost extreme comfort food okay. with a twist. Um, you know, a lot of different things that you would normally grow up eating with different twists on it. Right. Um, you're gonna try later the home burger, which Can't I wait. Homemade boards and cheese on it, and just a different twist on a cheeseburger. Bacon I like cheeseburger. all these things. Everything you really make in house. Everything is made from scratch That's for the most part. Fantastic. Yeah. You do so much good stuff here in the community as the restaurant. Uh, yeah, the community's really kind of embraced you. Talk about that for a little bit here before I go back there and get yeah, busy. Yeah, I mean, I, I've always felt as a small business that it's important to take care of the community who takes care of us. We try to be as involved in the local charities as possible as well. Yeah. Brantford is a great community, and. Uh, they really, really support their own, which has been great. That's fantastic, man. I love to hear that. This is very comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Like, Appreciate it's, that. It's very comfortable. That's, That's the idea. All right, let me get in this kitchen and talk to you. Plenty of food for you. Uh, you're awesome, brother. I look forward you, to seeing what we've got yeah, going on. All right. Absolutely. Excellent. Brother. Thank you. Lauren, pleasure to meet you. I'm yeah. so excited to be hanging out with you right now. Uh, this is hot. Did you know that? Very hot. <laughs> I mean, literally. I think I'm, I'm getting first degree burns here. Uh, what are we making? Uh, we are making the home burger. Um, it's like our signature burger. It's delicious. Okay. Um, so a little salt and pepper on the burger. Right now, I'll do it. Okay. Right now. Salt and pepper. I'll hold up. They like when I do it up high. I like, like that. that. Yeah. Solid. While that is marking, we're gonna heat up the mushrooms and the onion jam. Oh, so the onion jam is vinegar, sugar, sweet and sour. Okay. And then these are just roasted mushrooms. The truck goes in too. All right, here we go. So we got onions. We got our mushrooms. We got. Burgers working, we got medium rare plum arm. What else we got? We got bacon, two strips of bacon. What do you normally cook these burgers to in house? Like if no one gets the temperature, just medium? I prefer medium rare. Okay. They're CAB burgers, so it's really good meat. Excellent, well, <laughs> that's a delicious burger. If you're gonna get a burger, you might as well make it awesome. And you can always tell burgers are ready to flip or move when it doesn't stick like this. But what I'm gonna do is, Chef, tell me if I'm wrong, you can hate me for it. I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. Nice hash marks. But I guess it's a hashtag. Hashtag burger cooking. So we got our, our onions and our mushrooms right here. Yeah, that's super low, so you can kind of just leave those. All right, our burger's working hard right here. I think I'm gonna flip this guy. Hashtag burger marks. <laughs> so, hash, all right, all right. And then we have this borson. What is this? This is a homemade borson. Homemade borson? Yeah. Like cheese? Cheese, yeah. Beautiful, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this burger, so, because yeah. I'm good with that. You're just gonna put the okay. burger right on top. All right, let's go. Onion, jam, mushroom, and then the bacon, just a little cross yep. action. That's it. Let's check this burger out. Are you kidding me? Amazing. I can't wait to put that in my mouth. Chef, I love burgers, but we're making gnocchi now. Gnocchi, yeah. Let's talk about it. What are we making? All right, cool. So we're uh, rendering a little bit of maple safe sausage that we make in house. Rendering means taking that fat out of it so we get that lovely little. little crispy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that crispy and get that delicious fat on the, in the pan, right? Yeah. Excellent. Count me uh, in. And then while we're doing that, we're just going to flash the gnocchi really quick. And you make this in house, right? Yeah, it's potato and ricotta, so it's a little lighter. And what? Uh, ricotta. Is, did you say, but you didn't call it ricotta. I did what not. What did you call it? I called it ricotta. It's not a word. Uh, should I drop this down now, Chef, or uh, no? Yeah, you can drop it. All right. So that just needs like 30 seconds. It's already cooked. We okay. can't it. Um, probably about ready to come go. in. You want to go right in the pan? Yeah, right in the pan. Right in the pan. Right in the pan. What do we got? Uh, tomato, chopped tomatoes, okay. and some blanched chopped asparagus. Right in. Right in. This is a uh, roasted pepper cream sauce. There we go. Is there a little regat in there? There is not. I just wasn't sure if you <laughs> forgot the regat. And we're gonna finish it with cheese. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm getting on the rim of the plate. I'm a piece of garbage, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's what towels are for. A little panko on top. Yes, sir. And then this is all gluten-free as well, which is kind of cool. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Check that dish out right here. I can't wait to eat this, Chef. It looks, looks fantastic, looks delicious. Pick up for me. All right, you guys are my new best friends because this food looks delicious. Buffalo mac and cheese, burgers, and cocktails. Can we start with this one? What are we drinking here, friends? Uh, so that's our Fig Cosmo. It is house-infused Fig vodka, a little Ooh. fresh juice. Have you tried this? It's very good. That's really tasty. I just thought about chugging that, but I'm not gonna do that. And then what do we have here? So this is called the Indian Neck Lemonade. It is a lemonade cocktail with one of the local restaurants in town. So this is a maple bourbon from Bridgeport, Connecticut, poured over the Lenny's Lemonade. Wow. It's a good thing I'm already at home. I think we should try the Buffalo Mac first. Oh, let's do it. Buffalo Mac, let me get in here. So it's a cheddar-based cheese sauce, um, hot sauce, 
chicken tenders, and a little bit of crumble blue on top. Super simple, but it's really good. I want to sing a song right now. You are so beautiful. People are watching me. It's outside. beautiful. This is incredible. This is so delicious. The buffalo is not too spicy. The blue cheese comes out really beautifully in this. And somehow or another, Chef, you've managed to keep the crispiness of the chicken. This is great right here. I love this. And it's all homemade. What else we got here? There's a burger right here. It looks delicious. So this is the home burger. I was uh, very excited about the boars and cheese in this. Let me get in here. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Wow. The bacon and the boars and cheese together. Are you kidding me? This is the kind of food that would just make me feel happy. Right? That's the point. Is that the idea? Absolutely. This burger right here, that's where it's at. We got a little uh, Noki's over here. Let's talk about this, because we got some great shots of your guy in the back making this. Yep. Uh, who has been making these Noki's for a long time, right? Yep. Yeah, this is his recipe. What I think the star of this plate is, is this breadcrumb topping. So it's a roasted red pepper cream sauce, and then tomatoes, asparagus, and a homemade uh, maple sage sausage. You make the sausage in house. Mm -hmm. It truly does feel like I'm kind of home, and I'm comfortable, and I just kind of, I don't know, kick back and enjoy it, and you know, I mean, eat this kind of food. Take a nap. Beautiful. It's delicious. <laughs> chef, thank you so much. Thank you. Great I job. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much, yeah. man. Thank you. This stuff is awesome. So my favorite dish, personally, for appetizer is the general style Brussels sprouts. And then I actually get something that's not even on the menu, is a buffalo chicken taco, because it's the best food that I ever had in my life. And I literally probably get it three to four times a week. Plum. Plum. Wake them up. Ah, what, what, what? It's just, what? What it's, are you doing? It's just so comfy. I've been, you know, like I'm at home. You don't have any shoes on. It's comfortable. It feels like, it's at home. Sometimes you just need a good nap. After those thoughtfully made bagels at Olmo in New Haven, to some real deep down food made with love at Sandra's, to the comfort food haven that is home in Brantford. That was a road trip. We'll see you next time.